live from deep in the Colorado mountains. It's the Review Board with your host, Tom, the old guy. All items are presumed to be tasty. Okay, hey everybody, welcome to my very first ever episode of The Review Board. And this is the segment of my channel where I'm going to be reviewing different snacks, different beverages. I'm going to try and do one of each every week. Because this is my first episode, I'm going to do two snacks and I'm going to do two beverages. And i got to say thank you to Janice Yamanaka. She has a great um, food review channel. Link down below. And just a few days ago, she uh, recommended to me, because I'm fond of ginger beers, these two reads ginger beers. We've got the extra and the strongest and also I'll be reviewing those today. And I've also got some combos, stuffed snacks. This is probably something that a lot of you have already had but I personally have not had the combo snack, the combos stuffed anything. Uh, you have a lot of the pizza ones so I'll be trying them. And I've got the Zaps Voodoo Chips. That. And uh, it's supposed to be Voodoo Heath, Orleans Kettle Style Chips, it says. So if you look at the guy there, he's got his hair all buzzed out and stuff. So. <laughs> We're going to try this and see how it goes. And I'll open up these chips first. like fryer grease and maybe a little bit of spice. Wow. Really salty. Holy smokes. <laughs> it's pretty tart too. Uh, starting to get a little bit of heat, and they're nice and crunchy. I like the kettle style chips. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. it's starting to get some heat now. And they do really have a nice flavor. I can't really say that it tastes one way or another like uh, like cheese or something, but it does have just a nice kind of indiscriminate flavor. And the heat is, is not too bad. I wouldn't say food and heat, but it does have heat. Well, now that I've tried the voodoo chips, they have to stand in judgment before the review board. And the review board gives them a guilty. Guilty means that they that they are actually guilty of what they say they are. Voodoo heat, kettle cooked chips. And they are exactly that. And they are guilty of being a, a delicious snack. They, tasty snack. Now we'll try the first beverage. The Reed's Extra Extra in ginger beer. And let's see here. Use my trusty whatever USA bottle opener. About four years ago uh, Budweiser took over Crested Butte, Colorado and uh, painted the town blue, flew in a thousand people from around the country and had a big party. And uh, all the county residents were allowed to go and drink for free. So it was a, a day of, of 
music, merriment, fun, and it's the, uh, that vanilla dude, <laughs> or whatever his name is, it gives out vanilla, I can't remember his name. Uh, he was there, and uh, they were passing out these bottle openers, these whatever, USA mustaches, so that's what I used to open my bottles with. It's a good keepsake. Okay. Wow. All right, come on. And I got to use the official uh, re review board glass, and that says the meat jar. Can you see that? It says the meat jar on there, and this is exactly that. It's the jar that I got my dried meat in for the uh, cream chip beef rest uh, episode. So we're going to try this ginger beer in here. Oh, wow. Uh, that smells really ginger. First of all, I like the amount of carbonation. It's not overly carbonated. I really hate, well, I don't hate, but I just like carbonation that just overdoes it and kind of burns your throat as you go down or causes excess gas, so to speak. <laughs> Extra. Well, it certainly has the most ginger flavor of just about any other ginger beer that I've had. So, so the Reeds, all natural extra ginger beer. The rubber gavel, guilty as charged. It is extra and it is. All right, so I'll move on to the next snack, the Combo Stuffed Snack Pizzeria Baked Pretzel. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that have had these. I know they've been around for a while, I've seen them, but I just for some reason never got them. So, uh, cute little guys. Doesn't really smell like much. A little, a little chemically, kind of. Maybe a little plasticky. Here we go. Hmm. Well, first of all, I'm going to need another fill on this ginger beer. Incredibly dry. Of course, it is a pretzel. I was just half expecting to be a little bit of, I don't know, some sort of moisture because of the filling. Mm. I'm getting kind of a slight hint of like maybe some oregano. Other than that, all I'm really getting is sort of a cheesy texture and the crunch with the salt on, on the pretzel. I'll try one more. I could see where they would be kind of addicting to eat just because of the crunch and the saltiness. But As for take, tasting like uh, any kind of pizza, just that little bit of oregano on the back end to me really doesn't qualify. So I'm going to have to have to say that this is innocent, innocent of being a pizzeria baked pretzel, and it will promptly be removed. From the board. And I'm going to move right along then to the strongest Reed's ginger beer. And I'm Janice. I'm looking forward to this. And I really like that one. And thank you for the, uh, for the heads up on this. This is really good. All right. Finish 
shop a little bit this old one here. Need one of these chips here to help uh, to help me get ready for this next for this next ginger beer. Holy smokes. That's, that's impressive. It's the same amount of carbonation, but the flavor of ginger, it's, it's almost like fresh ginger to me. That is absolutely delicious. Wow. Very good. Very good. That's going to get a guilty, big time. So, both the Reed ginger beers are guilty as charged. And so is uh, the Voodoo chips. I'm going to need some more of these. We'll see you guys the next time. <laughs>